am a professor of pharmacology in the University of Pisa, Italy. My name is Romano Danesi. I work in the Department of Internal Medicine, and my specific interest is uh, epigenetics, cancer treatment response, and uh, overall the problem of pharmacogenetics in cancer treatment. There are several applications for pharmacogenetics, and they are interesting because we have now uh, a better way to predict treatment response and probably toxicity of treatments. So there is a new discipline that uh, can be used by clinical oncologists in order to personalize treatment. Epigenetics is a different uh, kind of modification of DNA. It's something that is reversible because DNA can be uh, modified by uh, several agents like carcinogens and uh, they can irreversibly modify DNA by changing bases or deleting specific fragments of DNA. Epigenetics is different because it consists of a reversible modification of DNA, like, uh, um, okay, like um, the addition of methyl groups to specific bases of DNA, and this is a way uh, to suppress transcription or enhance transcription of genes. During the carcinogenesis, normally epigenetics is something that uh, it's important to understand why specific tumor suppressor genes are silenced and uh, other genes, uh, on the contrary, are upregulated. So uh, under this point of view, epigenetics is an important new field of, of research in clinical oncology and experimental oncology as well. We have a number of evidences, particularly in the, in the field of uh, response to uh, anti-hormonal treatment. Um, we have uh, important evidences that uh, there is a specific regulation of estrogen receptor within tumor cells. Tumor cells can be resistant to hormonal treatment if they uh, don't regulate the expression of estrogen receptor. And this deregulation is normally uh, controlled by hypermethylation of the uh, promoter of the gene. So if hypermethylation occurs, there is a reduction in the expression of the gene. And under this point of view, the cells can be resistant to anti-hormonal treatment like the estrogen tamoxifen. So there is a way to predict the response to tamoxifen if we can uh, measure the methylation status of the promoter. So under this point of view, it can be used for a prediction of activity of anti-hormonal treatment. Epigenetics, as I said before, is a reversible modification of DNA. It's something that uh, tumor cells can uh, use just to regulate their uh, biological aggressiveness. Uh, genetics is something that is related to permanent modification of DNA. So it's something acquired and cannot be changed. So uh, the interesting approach for us is that uh, with specific drugs, we can regulate the methylation status of the promoter. So this is something that we can modify from a pharmaco under a pharmacotherapeutic point of view. I mean, we have drugs that are, be, are able to reduce the methylation status of cells, and this can be used to, to reverse the resistance of cells to tr tr treatment. So it's something that can be modulated by drugs. Well, the uh, enhance the interaction with the laboratory because by doing good translational research, we can improve the, the, the treatment of patients. So I think uh, the interaction of clinical oncologists with laboratory people can significantly improve the outcome of treatment of patients.